Imagine you have an existing project that you want to add grunt and power to. Um, that can sometimes be a little bit time consuming to set up and you know uh, learn the different uh, aspects of both grunt and power. But with the new version of Web Essentials 2015, uh, we can simply right click any project, and in this case it's a Web Forms website project, and go to Add and Grunt, uh, Add Grunt and Power to Project. Now we can see that we get a package JSON, Grunt file JS, and Power JSON added to our project. And at the same time, we can see here in the output window how uh, everything is now being installed uh, by npm. And um, this doesn't require you to have Node or NPM installed. It uses the built-in versions of uh, Node and NPM that's inside Visual Studio 2015. And it can sometimes takes, uh, take a little while to install all this because it has to download it from uh, the internet, uh, the different packages. And we can take a look here. The packages that is being installed is Grunt and the Grunt Bower task. And now we can see here that the Everything here is done, everything is installed. And uh, if we look at the grunt file, we can see that it already have a Bower install uh, task and target right here um, that we can start leveraging. And if we look at Bower, we can see that we do have some export overrides to make everything a little bit easier. That This is the thing that works with uh, the grunt Bower task. And um, from this point on, it's very easy to uh, add, let's say Angular for instance. We can add IntelliSense, uh, sorry, we get IntelliSense for all this here in the Bower JSON file in Visual Studio 2015. And if we go to the Task Runner Explorer and refresh it, we can see that we now have our, um, we now have our Bower and, um, sorry, our Grunt uh, tasks listed here. And so we can just execute the Bower task by clicking it right here. And it will now go out and install our Bower component, and we can see we now have a Bower components folder showing up right here that has our Angular in it. Uh, but what we did was in the grunt file, since we're using the Bower install, we're saying to move all of um, everything that comes in from uh, Bower to move that to a folder called dub 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 root slash lib. So if we take a look here, we can see that we get Angular and just Angular, not not a uh, nothing of the other files that usually come in with uh, with Bower packages or Bower components. We just get what we need here, in this case, angular.js, the file itself. So now I'm running Bower, I'm running Grunt, I'm using the Task Runner Explorer, and this is on an existing uh, website. It's not using the latest ASP.NET 5. This is an old um, WebForms 4.5 project that I have. Um, this works in all project types, not just uh, web projects, but any project type you might have, even console apps and wind forms if if um, if you want to add grunt to that and power for whatever reason so um, I hope this makes it easy to get started with both grunt and power thanks for watching